Hey guys, my name is Zabo and welcome to The Zabo. And today we're checking out Red Velvet, the perfect Red Velvet album. So this is a repackaged album of the Perfect Velvet. It's, this is their second full album, but it's called The Perfect Red Velvet with the um, title track being Bad Boy. But from the per from the Perfect Velvet album, it's Peekaboo. And I've been excited to check this song out. Like, don't, I won't... I won't lie, I've been excited to check this album out because of uh, Peekaboo, because I've been hearing snippets of it, of the, one of the parts of it, and I've been dying to hear this song, like, um, the Peek -a boo like that part, I, I, I love the beat too that I heard with it, so I've been dying to see this, but I can't wait to check out the music video with this, and then Bad Boy, um, I think I've heard this song but I've only heard the English version for some reason. I don't know what kind of spell cast upon me to hear the English version and not the Korean version, but I heard the English version of this song. Um, but I can't wait to check out the Korean version, but hear, you know, hear that. But I have heard the song before, but like I said, the English version. But um, apparently, yeah, this was, the Perfect Velvet album came out November 17, 2017 or around that time. And then they make the repackage album come out in January, around January 20, uh, 29th of 2018. But okay, guys, I pulled up Red Velvet's Bad Boy. Yeah, I've heard this song, like I said before, like every time I come, you come around, another bad boy down. Like the English version, but I haven't heard the Korean version, but yeah, here we go. I'm excited, three, two, one, let's go. When did this come out? January 29th, 2018, yeah. With Bad Boy being the title of this prepackaged album. They all look great. <laughs> they're they're so beautiful. I, I can't. I I could never have a bias in this group. They all look good. Like right there, I was just feeling Yuri, and I was feeling Silgi, and I'm now I'm feeling Joy. I'm like, man. And it's like they like they push it, they push it, and then the next member comes in. I'm like, get that out the way, and they get her out the way. Like all of them are beautiful. All bias. So far, I like, I like hearing the Korean better. It sounds, I mean, it, it, yeah, it sounds natural, but like, it just sounds better in the language, I guess you could say. I, I'd really enjoy it. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Look at her eyes. Wendy. Um, Away, away, She is beautiful. <laughs> I have to pause her because of that. Um, and it's just, this song sounds so great in Korean. I mean, I'm so used to hearing the English version that I'm singing like the lyrics in English, but I, I'm loving this Korean. I'm loving the original version of the song. I'm just gonna have to add them all to the playlist and then put, you know, put um, the English version to hear the song back to back, but I'm gonna hear it in both languages. It just sounds so good. Let's continue, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. 
목소리에 집중해 사랑은 좀 달라져 주위를 맴도는 내가 궁금해 너도 알게 될 거야 알 거야 이미 늦어버렸단 걸 맞아 사실이나 자신 있어 나 Away, 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 away. Away, away, oh. Such a good song. I love it. Like the thing is, I like how it's called Bad Boy, but they're they're the baddies in this. Like just looking all like like just so much savage like presence on the screen. And I'm like, look at. I feel like I'm looking. I'm like I'm being looked down upon, and I don't mind it. I don't mind it because I look. They're the queens. They're the queens. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh God. Why do I feel like I'm dying on the inside by the little, the perfect red velvet bad boy? Yep. Here we go. Just going to the next one. What's this song? All right. Okay, yeah, I like I like this song. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm gonna have to listen to it again to the groove, but I do like this song a lot. It's called "All Right, All Right." Okay, or it's called "All Right," but reading really, "All Right, All Right." Oh, I won't be trapped in complicated worries. Ah. 
okay so i'm thinking like the song is just basically talking about i don't need i don't need to worry got you everything's gonna be all right everything's gonna be you know okay as long as i'm with you but yeah, this this sounds so amazing too. The vocals as well. Just look at the like, and, and look at these pictures. Like, look at this. This must have been in the photo book. Like, oh my god. Let's continue. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh. Where did they? Oh. They don't waste any time on these B sides. Why do they go so hard on the B side? They go so hard on the title track, and they go hard on the B side. They don't need to do like they don't. They don't have to. They don't need to. They, you know, they, well, I think what they, you know, for any group to do on a B-side is to show that they can do different things and, you know, be able to display that. Like, oh, we're not just this whole concept where we can do multiple things. We can be hard. We can be soft. We can, we can show cute. We can show like badass sides. But Red Bell was like, no, we're going to work hard. We're going to do this and make this B-side sound like a title or damn near close to a title track that people will love. They will see the air. Shout out, shout out to Red Velvet for all this effort. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, that was all right. Love the song. Love the vocals. Especially that Wendy part killed me. It really just, like, I know that I've heard so many B-sides from them so far, but it just still amazes me how much effort goes into this. Even even when they first started, you know, the B-sides have always been B-side -side queens dying to hear so much is peekaboo like i said i already heard bad boy the english version but i love i love the korean ver the original i love that way more i just loved it but i mean like them releasing the english version of a song is always just nice that you can you know you can sing along to it and still you know still get the same vibe from it as well if you if you haven't heard that english version it still gives off that same like vibe and beautiful vocals in english as always but here we go three two one let's go has no subtitles when did this come out november 17 to 2017 okay yuri had a gun <gasps> no they're all slumped over i 
Okay, I'm getting like this creepy vibe. It's like it's like when you do play peekaboo, it's like it's just something changes. Like if you blink like that, it's just something changes. Like how they all just like instantly head spun. Like like you didn't even see it. Like it's just like what is going on? But I like this vibe. Of, okay, Yuri with all her weapons got some type of like scope pistol. I mean, knowledge of guns comes from call, playing Call of Duty, so like, got a Deagle, got the AK, got some like Remington looking like pistol gun. See, Axe is a baseball bat and like a shotgun, I guess, I don't know. But she got all her guns, Yuri's ready for battle with whatever, and some like whatever that, I don't know. Let's continue, here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Is that? <laughs> oh, they all have weapons. I'll pause it. Why do they like to try to kill each other in each of these in in these videos? Um, what's the name of the song? I can't even think of the title right now. It's like. Um, beep, 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 beep. Oh, I'm, I'm being stupid right now. But you know, they tried to kill each other in that song as well. Um, I can't remember the title. I, I'm blanking. I'm scatterbrained right now. But um, just love kill each, try to kill each other in these, in these videos. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. We got the ritual going. <laughs> oh. They got my man. They got him. But the thing that's really more crazy about this story is how each member was running away with him. So was he just dreaming about it? Like taking one member? Because he like didn't question like that he had, he grabbed Sugi. Like Sugi took him and then Joy. I think Yuri had him. Like, But then um, she got out of the car. It looked like she was about to do something but they got his they got his um shirt or they got him as a person oh i love the song too the vocals too were crazy as always but i i enjoyed the song a lot I, it it lived up to the hype that i was feeling when i was like listening to the snippets of it and i loved it i loved it i loved like the music video as well it added to a lot of it as well like they were kind of being playful and stuff and then they blindfolded him and they were like oh we're gonna have this like jelly eat off and then they weren't eating they got they grabbed their weapons and they were ready to do what they've been planning this whole time so here we go three two one let's go let's play out all the way through boom 
Whoa. Okay. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was not reading the lyrics, <laughs> but I was just getting lost into it. I like this like retro vibe, and then I like their like vocals, and this kind of like effect on it as well to add more. Um, I don't know, maybe this like cloudy effect, like almost like they're in the sky, almost like they're singing to us from the sky, like you know, like I like that effect on it. So far, I also like that. Um, Beginning part that oh wow oh, ah. and na, 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 na. I like that I like that a lot. Effort, the effort for these B sides. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh yes, I love that. Oh, such a good song. I wish I would have done that um that beginning part a bit more. The mm -hmm. but maybe like 
they incorporated it in the beat or within another part, but I just didn't hear it as like profound at the beginning. I wish they would have done that with the song, like added that part somewhere, but I don't know where. And that's why I don't make music. And even though they didn't add that part anywhere else, the song still slapped and I just loved it. I loved it. I really loved like, I really loved the um, part where they all come together, but they're separate, like kind of like solo parts in the song. I, just, I, I enjoy it. Let's move on to the next one, which is I Just. So here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Just wake me up, yes. Okay, so Suki rapping? Okay. It's like they swapped the roles. Okay. I gotta pause it. I'm sorry if I'm making like such a like mad face. It's so good that I'm mad. Like it's that good that I am mad that it's that good because I'm like, oh, I'm like, how can you top the song that I just heard? And it, it, it's hitting for me. This song is hitting. Like when I listen to Red Velvet, the lyrics are just non-existent to me for some reason. Like I'm like. I can't really read the lyrics and focus because I'm just wanting to hear it. You know, I just wanted to like just vibe with it, close my eyes, like just, it, I don't know. It got me stumbling on my words. Are shoes that will take me someplace at home? What did the previous one say? I wanna be. Mm. Mm. This is so far like the main vocal, like the one out in the front, is more like rappy. Like it's not like a lot of um singing, like a lot of singing with like the like vocals in front. The background vocals, I hear those, like I hear those going off. But right now, it's kind of almost like they're speaking to us in this song. More, like, more rappy and speaking than actually singing. And I actually like that because that's something that I, that I feel like Red Velvet, maybe maybe they do it a bit more in more songs. But I feel like, especially for this song, they're doing it a lot. And I like it because it's, you know, something different. Something, like, something that they're showing off another charm. But there's, like, we can do a song like this. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. And this beat is really good. <laughs> I wish.
Oh, it just ends like that? Man. I could just listen to the, like this song on repeat or a loop or they could have kept going for another three minutes. And, it, and the, if the beat stayed the same, I would have listened to it for six minutes straight like that. I do not care. I love the beat. I love how... um. I, I just love Red Velvet because their voices are like a part of the beat. Like, the, excuse me. They'll use like, you know, they'll use Red Velvet's vocals as like a beat and maybe distort it a bit or keep it the same or add an effect on it. And then that becomes part of the beat. And I love that. I love that that they use their voices as new sounds to make new, like to make new sounds for a beat that might make the beat even more unique and even more of that than what it was before and i love that this song is so oh i i think i like this song so far for this part part two i think this is my um so far my favorite song for this part i didn't say my favorite song for part one part one my favorite song peekaboo peekaboo Pika -boo. that's gonna be my favorite song for that part but for this part so far this is my favorite kingdom come oh Oh, we're going to this side of Red Velvet. Ooh. Yeah, just love me till kingdom comes. Till kingdom comes, yeah. To be honest, I know that's a phrase that, you know, is used. Love you till kingdom comes. Still, for me personally, I don't know what the phrase means. But I mean, I'll look it up afterwards to really understand. But I do. That's basically what the meaning of the song is. I'll, you know, the love until kingdom comes. But um, I love this song so far, and I love that. Like um, let's continue. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> Sing it, Ira, yes.
He's still going? To to come. That gave me like a little mini goosebumps. I felt it in the back of my head when she said that said it like that. Oh my god. Let's get let's let's just get through the song here. Three, two, one. Is that it? Oh, I guess maybe it was playing room repeat, but yeah, that was Kingdom Come. Um, just a, what 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 else do you guys want me to say? B side queens, vocals were amazing. Just love the harmonizing, love like just the member just going off in the background as always in the Red Velvet song just. Having to kill it, having to give the song just even more pizzazz like that. Like, come on now, don't don't play with Red Velvet. I I I want to see. I just want to see a K-pop concert now live. I just want to see it. I just want to have fun. I want to see Red Velvet. I want to see Twice. I want to see S. I want to see all. I want to see all these groups. I want to see all these Black Pink. I want. I want to see all these groups perform. Especially Red Velvet too, like ugh, they sound so amazing. Dreamcatcher too. Red Velvet's killing it. It's giving me ideas and getting me excited. They are just an amazing crew of all rounders, all rounders. They're all great. They can all do it. Literally, some of these songs have proven to me that you know Sugi and Wendy could be rappers. Especially in the last album of Queendom, Wendy was rapping. She was going off. And then, like, low, deep voice of hers when she was right. Oh, let me make sure. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Before before she goes off, before Wendy goes off. Oh, this this is mm, can't believe I left this song off. My God. The snapping, the really, really high vocals, and then like that harmonizing part. <coughs> or I don't think it was even was it I don't think it was even harmonizing. It might not have been. It could have just been like just belting or you know, her soul out Wendy behind like Yuri's um part gave it more like flair it just ugh, I like it it's like I know two people falling in love with each other oh and then like the lyrics talking about the time to love like I've waited I waited this long now it's time to start let's we'll start loving each other so let's continue here we go three two one let's go oh, Oh, 
손 잡는데 얼굴 빨개 해줘 왜 이제 내 소원이 그림 같은 거리 이뤄지려고 해 우리 함께 한명 사라질까 단 1초도 아쉬워 나 이대로 있어줘 Ends like that. My second date. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. What was that sound? Today is my second date. Hmm. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love like with these type of songs, you know the crowd, if the crowd knows this song well and they perform this like live or at, you know, at one of those um, big red velvet concerts that I've seen, this would be the song where everyone is like participating the most and I feel like with the, hey, like, you know, everyone's having fun, having a good time. I love it. And I just love the beat. Like I said, that boom, 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 like that, like, all the time these different unique sounds that you like hear like even going like back and listening to all these like older songs and listen and you know catching up to like all these groups uh, to me red velvet has been the group that even though these songs you know are a lot older i still come back and i'm like i still not have heard this before and don't get me wrong, other groups do, do that for me as well, too. Like, I hear different sounds from others, but a lot from Red Velvet, too. Like, where I'm getting, like, each song is so, so different. They might have similar, like, like things to what they might do in the song. But the whole song itself is so different. And I love it. Like, the sound, the quality, like, of, like, their voices for certain things that they want to achieve with the sound. I love it. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, let me pause. Yeah, and the song's basically talking about your second date. So, you know, after your first date, you want to, you know, things that you might want to do on your second date. Like, should we just speak casually? Like, you know, should I grab his arm? Like, you know, I guess from, from their perspective of, like, I guess maybe... Of the, you know of the other person's perspective and stuff, you know should I do this? Should we do that? Like you know that type of stuff. You don't know what to do because you got past the first one, so you don't. What should we do in the second one? So here we go. Three, two, one, stop. Oh, 
It's not my favorite, but it was close. It was close. I love it. Here we go. We're about to finish up the the perfect Red Velvet album with these last four songs. So we're starting off with Atta Boy. Um, let's not even waste no more time. Let's just get right into it. Here we go. Or if you haven't checked out um, part one and two, please do. <laughs> the songs have been crazy. My, my God, the songs have been crazy. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. I feel like I'm being attacked. I like this flow. Like I, I, I like na 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 na, but na na da 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 na na. I love this flow so far. And then they got Joy rapping on here again. Ah, Joy. I mean, I know Joy. You know, was one of the, like you know was one of like kind of the main rappers and switched into like a vocalist. But you can never doubt her. You can never you know count her out. Like, don't be like, oh, she's not a rapper no more. She can't do it enough. She can still do it. They all can rap. They all can sing. They all can dance. They can, they can all do it. They can do it all. And I really like this, like, song a lot. The beat. I love this beat so far. I love, like, this kind of, like, coming at you, like, kind of, like, lyrics that I'm reading. Like, let's let's just go do it. Let's, come on, let's go. Let's go. Like, you know, let's, let's just go do it. Like, this kind of aggressiveness. I like it. You can go, I'll scream it, step your feet, we've come so far. Like, she's like, come on, let's keep going. Like, we've come this far, might as well keep going. But like, more in an aggressive way, like, not like a motivating way, but like, a, we're made of this part, let's just keep going. Here we go, let's just keep going, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Wow, so. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not ready. I'm sorry. I'm not ready. Okay, Atta boy, I like it. I like the beat. Um, I like like the kind of lyrics like we do whatever we want, and my arms are ready to embrace you. So let's just go. I like kind of that aggressive like let's just keep going. We we made it this far. Let's just keep going. Might as well. <laughs> you know, like almost like that kind of it's like a, it's like a chic like a chic kind of love. Like let's just keep going. Nothing stopping us. Like, you know, I love it. And I love, like, the... Uh, my favorite part of the song was the flow of the... And then I I love little... Uh, not little. I love Joy's, uh, like, um, part in Korean where she kind of goes like, what? Like that part. Oh, I love it. I love it. Red Velvet. Let's go. Here we go. Perfect 10. So far, I don't know what I've been expecting from these songs, but every time I hear it, I'm like, what is this? Like, every time it's been like that, I'm like, huh? What's, what's about to happen? Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh. Oh, we're getting this side now. Ah. Oh. Okay, so so far I am just liking the the beat. I love like the um let me be your perfect 10 cuz you know when you um rate something, you kind of we kind of rate things out of 10 or you know different ratings, but most of the time I think we do like I'll give me from a rating of 1 to 10 and that's what I think they're talking about they want to be the perfect 10 for you. And what I'm thinking is, like, they're not trying to be perfect, perfect like that, but they're trying to be whatever you want that you need. And to you, that would be the perfect thing for you. But, um, but yeah, that's what they want to be is your perfect thing. I like it. Like the BL of the sound of it, the vocals as always, and like this kind of together part, they... I, I love it when they do this together part. They sound so good. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Yeah. 
It just ends straight up right after that. Okay, so that was perfect ten. I really liked it. I really liked how like um, like the message of the song, like I'll be your perfect ten, whatever you need me to be, that's what I will be. And I think when that person sees that, they'll think that they're the perfect, you know, perfect person for them. Perfect, like you know, everything. But um, but I think it still means like staying true to who you are but if that person needs you to be like that then you're perfect the way you are that's what i'm interpreting from my own i guess my head but i loved it we have two more songs now including this one so it's about love and then next is the last song here we go three two one let's go Red Velvet does love songs so, like, a lot of justice. Because they do it in such different ways, different concepts of love. And I just love it. Like, especially just in the same album, talking about love. Like, there's nothing special, but I want to fill it up with only you. Like, that type of thing. Um, Like, that type of thing is so dope. And then they talked about a second date. Like, you know, they don't talk about, like, the first date. 
you know, being maybe nervous, messing up. Like, you know, you talked about the second one. Like, I love that because like, I don't think I seen or heard at all any songs about like the second date. Because that's when it, you know, things get really like, you know, different. Like, like should you be bold? Should you just stay how you did the first date, but you don't want the first date to be the same because it would be, you know, not special or, or be boring? You know, like that type of thing. I love this. I love this. Here we go. And the vocals going off as always in the background. Red Velvet killing B side queens. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. You already know the deal. just ends like that because we were close to the end i was just vibing out so yeah i really enjoyed that and i think that's gonna be my favorite song about us i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed like the message and just just that beat and then the vocals as always man red velvet okay we're on to is this the last one let me make sure i don't want to be wrong oh it is yeah it is well, guys, this is the last song of the album. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, let's just enjoy this last song. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Moonlight Melody. Oh, it already sounds like it's about to be a ballad type of just ballad, but good vocals. Got me feeling some type of way with this. <laughs> Who's watching over us wanting to say something? Like, it's giving me like a drama vibe. Like, like this could be like a drama OST. Like, I can see that. Like where they play this while like the main characters look out through the window. Both of them, whoever like the lovers are, looking outside their windows, thinking about one another and thinking, you know, at night. You know, I can see that. I Man, it's called Moonlight Melody, but it does give that like nighttime feel. And then the vocals, Yuri vocals right there, into Wendy, into like whoever. It just sounds amazing. I just love the piano too. The piano in this sounds woo! I love it. I love it. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go.
Chasing after that melody, the unforgettable melody that basically kind of gate gives you like almost like chasing after the love that you want. It's unforgettable and it's the best love that you had, I think. And like this melody for it is a very unforgettable melody and very good. I loved it. But that's the end of the album. Um my favorite song from this part, uh I think it's about love or attaboy. So if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to the Perfect Red Velvet album. I enjoyed all the songs in this. This was amazing. This is, I think, by far my favorite Red Velvet album. So let's see if they can break that with the next album. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next Red Velvet Tuesday. Bye.